Hello, this is a tutorial on 7.1A1. We're going to be finding the percentages and numbers. And uh, as a secondary target on here, we're also going to be rounding. So in this first one, first column, we're going to round to the nearest whole number, second column to the nearest tenth, third column to the nearest hundredth. So we'll do just a couple of these uh, so you get the idea. So uh, you can look at the example. Um, for each one and so 11% of 88 so the way we did that was we took uh, 0.11 that's the 11% we just moved that twice we took that times 88 and we got 9.68 uh, and we're rounding to the nearest whole number which means we're rounding to this spot here and then we just look next door is there enough there is it 5 or higher it's five or higher we're going to move that up so yes it's it's five or higher so this nine becomes a ten is our final answer uh, let's do another one like that so we're going to take 22 percent so we're just going to go 0.22 times 60 times 37 and this is 8.14 8.14 and again we're looking behind there the, we're looking behind this whole number. Is there enough there to call that 9? No, because if it's 1 or below, 1 or lower, we just leave it alone. So this is just going to be 8 is rounding to the nearest whole number on that one. All right, let's take a look at rounding to the nearest tenth. We'll look at the example. Again, we have 0.11. We're going to multiply that times, you know, 88 again. And here's our 9.68 again. So this time we're rounding to the nearest tenth, which is here. So we have to look behind it uh, at that 8. Is the 8 big enough? Yes. And so we can move this 6 up. It becomes 9.7. 9 now the way of thinking about this is this is $9.68. Is there enough there to call it $9.70? Yes. Let's do one of those. Let's take uh, 0.12, we've got the 12% here. We'll multiply that times 374. We've got 44.88. Again, this is our, our tenth spots. So we're looking behind that, behind the door. Sometimes people say that. Is there enough there to call that 44.9? Yes, it's, it's bigger than a 5. So this would be 44.9 is our correct answer. All right, now we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Again, we'll look at our example. Uh, 0 0.11, 0 0.11 times 88 equals 9.68. So we're looking right here, and then we just look behind it. Is there anything there? No, it just terminates. So this one is just 9.68. We don't have to change anything. All right, so 2%, tough one. Don't forget the placeholder. It's 0 0.02. So 0 0.02, and we're going to multiply that times 374. And we are getting 7.48. Again, we're looking, we're looking at the hundredths column, which is right here. We're on the hundredth, which is the 8. We look behind it. Is there anything there? No. So it just stays at 7.48. Sometimes you don't have to change that. Other times they would. All right, good luck with this sheet.